this part was previously explained so I'm not repeating it here so now in the left hand side you have cos 2a minus cos 2b minus cos 2c so as our first step we are going to use the formula of cos c minus cos b now let us recall the formula for cos c minus cos e the formula is 2 sin c plus b by 2 dot sin b minus c by 2 so we we'll use the same formula here, cos c will assume 2a to be c and will assume 2b to be b. So and the by formula you do you'll have here 2 sin c plus d by 2 dot sin b minus c by 2 and then minus cos 2c as it is. Now when you simplify it, you will have here 2 sin only a plus b left here. When you take 2 comma and cancel it, you will have here only a plus b left here, dot sign. When you take 2 comma and cancel, you have here b minus a minus. Now, you will have here cos 2c as it is. Now, 2. Now, you have the value of sin a plus b. The value is sin c. So, in place of sin a plus b, you write here sin c. Sin a plus b, we will write here sin c. Dot sin b minus a. Now, the formula for cos 2c should be used in such a way that you can take 2 sin c common. I repeat one more time. The last term formula should be used in such a way that you can take this 2 sin c common. So now the formula for 2 cos c will be 2 sorry 1 minus 2 sin square c. So we have chosen this formula because we will be looking for that formula for, of cos 2c where d will exist 2 sin c. Cos 2c equal to for by this and here 2 sin c common. So means we will use the formula of cos 2c in such a way that you can take 2 sin c where there is 2 sin c. So now let us remove the bracket. When you remove the bracket you will have here 2 sin c dot sin b minus a minus 1 minus minus gives you plus 2 sin square c. Now let us rearrange the drop. Okay, now you can write 2 sin c. You can also write sin b minus a plus 2 sin square c minus 1. We took this minus 1 after the equal to. Now we can take 2 sin c common here. And after taking 2 sin c common, you will have here sin b minus a plus 2 sin c has already gone common. You have here sin c minus 1 as it is. 2 sin c sin b minus the same now let us see the formula for sin c the formula for sin c is sin a plus b here the sin c in place of sin c you can write here sin a plus b so in place of the sin c you can write here sin a plus b minus 1 now let us recall the formula let us know the formula sin a plus b plus sin b minus a is the formula for uh, 2 cos a sin b. Listen one more time. Sin a plus b plus sin b minus a is the formula for 2 cos a sin b. Now if you are wondering, if you want to know uh, the other way, then what you can do is, uh, you can think or uh, you can suppose this b minus a to be c and you can suppose a plus b to be d. Now it becomes like sin c plus sin d and the formula for sin c plus sin d is 2 sin c plus d by 2 dot cos c minus when there is minus you have to change the sign minus d by 2 we have here minus 1 as it is now let me recall it one more time what we have done here uh, here let me know it here what we wrote here is in place of b minus c we suppose b minus a to be c we also suppose a plus b to be d now it becomes like sin c plus sin d and the formula for sin c plus sin d is 2 sin c plus d by 2 dot cos c minus d by 2 now let us solve that uh, we have here 2 sin c same and now you can cancel this plus a minus a and you have b plus b 2b 2b by 2 is b 2 sin b dot now you can cancel this plus p and minus p and you have cos 
minus 2a by 2 you will have here cos minus 2a by 2 when you cancel this 2 and 2 you will have here cos minus a and cos minus a is also equals to cos a so you can write here cos a minus 1 now multiply 2 2 is 4 cos a sin b sin c minus 1 is our rhs so this way you can solve your answer